Amazing. <laughs> Just a masterpiece. <laughs> Today's plans include upcycling two items. One will require the use of sewing machine, the other will not. First, let's take a look at some great thrifted candidates. Unworn since high school, the yellow sweater is made of cotton. It's very comfortable, but the bright yellow color doesn't suit me very well, so I've only worn it once in my life. It's a bit fashionable one. It's from Zara. You see? You see that? Amazing zipper. I used to wear this sweater, I don't know, 100 times. It's 100% polyester. You know, some people say, find your style. I think I reached this goal. <laughs> the same as the white one. This one is definitely outsider. But it's slim. It could fit nice with this yellow one. I found out this stuff that I used to wear in high school. So let's try to make them fancy and to make some patchwork, upcycling things and to make the ugly not ugly. Since the yellow sweater is the most pleasant to wear and holds its shape well, I decided to use it as the base color, which will be complemented by gray and dark blue pieces. I want to make this part longer as it's like crop sized and it's too small for me for my age now and I want to maybe make this smooth line from this edge to the left one. Amazing. <laughs> Just a masterpiece. <laughs> okay, let's win all those sweaters. Yeah? Let's win them. First, we cut out pieces for the largest parts of the design. Since the grey sweater has an interesting detail, a zipper, it would be foolish not to use it here. Oh, cool. Somehow my mom insisted on the idea of using a black sweater, but I found this decision would make the bottom too heavy, so the sweater went back on the shelf. We returned to the original dark blue color to complement the long part at the bottom of the yellow base. What do you think? I think I ruined it all. Let's attach them to the main yellow part and then we will just cut uh, the sweater behind these parts. As you can see, these parts are done. Now we need to cut off this yellow part so as not to make it big. Well, <laughs> you see? What do you think? I think nice. But in the overall scene, this part is too empty. It's like too plain for this um, structured thing. So I think that we need to put the uh, gray color here, like with um, edges, maybe like ting 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 ting, something like this. And then it will go the, um, for the back and will end up uh, somewhere here. Uh, of course it has uh, extra threads, it doesn't look pretty right now, it, uh, it will go away uh, on the final stage, but for now I think it's quite nice. And also we will make small sport of the dark blue color. I think it will balance the look and maybe it will be correlated. Improvisation with the grey color begins. I don't know why, but the amazing concept on the paper didn't look good in reality, so I started to go with the flow. It looks nice. Oh no. No. Something is wrong here. I can't understand what is wrong. No? Mm, no. Something like this? just to put it on the sleeve and on the front part of the sweater or maybe we will make not the wave but uh, like 
lots of edges. What what do you think? Yeah, it's better now. It's it's, it's definitely better. It needs to be more edgy. Not the wave. Definitely not the wave. Let's cut it. In the video I don't know what I'm seeing into the turned off microphone, so I will sum up for you. After sewing the grey piece onto the base, there was an attractive middle part of the yellow color that needed to be filled. Here I show that the piece seems suitable for this purpose. A little energy boost. We finish up the final touches and sewing work. The final stage involves cleaning up any extra peels on the item. Since some edges are free after sewing, we will catalyze the process with scotch tape. And giving the sweater an attractive appearance. It's super nice. I think it's just it's just really cool with these baggy jeans, with these sneakers, and I think it's even better than our first work with my mom. You can watch it here, and I don't know. I really like it. What do you think? I know. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, your back part is plain. No, it's not plain. I have an answer for you. If the front part has lots of details. The back part should be balanced, so it should be plain. Amazing thoughts from me. I think that we should move on and take this white sweater to make a vest. Because I have a lot of energy after this amazing dinner. I get to do, 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 do. The next participant is you. Now we're going to make you a vest. <laughs> Instead of cutting off, my mom decided that we should try to find machine stitch and then cut it off, just to make the edge more beautiful. Loser. <laughs> Doing the same operation as we did for the sleeves but with the machine stitch that connects the front and the back one. Here is the final result. The, the look number one. I think it's nice, yeah? Uh, it's almost 15 minutes and the sweater turns out to the vest. Maybe we should connect these parts here, but not to connect the rest just to have a spot that is connected. Well, I just thought of a situation where this vest is needed. For example, you have an agreement with your friend to meet at 5 at your place and he came by a 15 minutes earlier. For example, you are not ready yet and uh, you don't even thought what you would wear. And you grab this vest, you put anything under it, I will show you other looks, and then pretend like you're dressing up for an hour. I think it looks smart. You can go like this to museum, like you're so sophisticated girl, and you can wear it to the cinema, you can wear it just for a walk. So I'm sure it was a nice idea. Yeah! Look number two. And the third look. With a t-shirt. Today's evening of creativity added two units to my collection. Well, I hope it was interesting for you to follow the process with me and I hope it would inspire you to find your old clothes and turn it into the new ones. So, see you next week. Thank you. You are the best.